Undoubtedly, many remember Flipper as a 60s TV show that won audiences over with its uplifting stories of a bottlenose dolphin named Flipper, who formed an unlikely friendship with the Ricks family in the Florida Keys. The show's catchy theme song and positive episodes created an image of harmony between humans and marine life. However, recent investigations uncovered shocking secrets and scandals that occurred behind the scenes of this beloved classic. These revelations paint a darker picture, contrasting the show's wholesome image. Delving deeper into the production of Flipper, it becomes clear that the series was not as idyllic as it appeared. Despite its surface-level charm, the show had a more complex history than many realize. Stay tuned to learn about the untold story of the world's most famous dolphin. The beloved TV series Flipper from 1964 is known for its heartwarming tales of a boy and his dolphin friend. However, behind the scenes, there were secrets and scandals that might surprise its fans. One of the most intriguing facts is that the distinctive chattering sound of Flipper was not created using authentic dolphin sounds. Instead, the production team used a modified kookaburra call to achieve the iconic sound. The decision to use a kookaburra call was likely made due to the limitations of recording technology at the time. Authentic dolphin sounds may have been difficult to capture and reproduce in a way that was clear and easily understood by audiences. By using a modified kookaburra call, the production team was able to create a sound that was both distinctive and memorable, helping to make Flipper one of the most beloved TV shows of its time. Despite the use of a modified sound, Flipper remained a captivating and enduring classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. The show's heartwarming tales of friendship and adventure between a boy and his dolphin companion have left a lasting mark on television history, and the show's impact can still be felt today. It's fascinating to consider how the secrets and scandals behind the scenes of Flipper might have affected the show's production and reception. While the use of a modified kookaburra call for Flipper's distinctive chattering sound might have been seen as controversial at the time, it ultimately contributed to the show's unique charm and appeal. In the end, Flipper remains a classic example of the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of the bond between humans and animals. Despite the secrets and scandals that may have occurred behind the scenes, the show's heartwarming tales and unforgettable characters continue to captivate audiences and inspire new generations of fans. The popular 1964 TV series Flipper has its origins in the creative minds of Ricky Browning and Ivan Tors. Browning, a skilled diver and underwater filmmaker, conceived the original story that would become this classic show. Inspired by the growing trend of marine theme programs, the duo collaborated to develop a concept that would capture the hearts of viewers. Although Flipper depicted a friendly and caring relationship between humans and dolphins, the reality of the animal's living conditions was far from idyllic. Dolphins featured in the show were confined to small pens, which limited their natural movements and behaviors. This confinement was a result of outdated training methods that prioritized control over the animal's well-being. Despite the show's positive portrayal of dolphins, it is essential to recognize the potential harm that may have been inflicted on these intelligent creatures during the production of Flipper. As we continue to learn more about marine life and their needs, it is crucial to prioritize their welfare and ensure humane treatment in all captive environments. Rick O'Berry, the primary dolphin trainer for Flipper, experienced a significant change of heart regarding his involvement in the show. After witnessing the intelligence and emotional depth of the dolphins he worked with, he became a passionate advocate against dolphin captivity. O'Berry's transformation is a testament to the profound impact that working closely with animals can have on an individual's perspective and values. On the other hand, the show's producer, Ivan Tours, faced allegations of espionage due to his Eastern European origins and frequent travels. These suspicions, however, were never substantiated with concrete evidence. Tours's background and travel patterns certainly raised eyebrows during a time of heightened international tensions, but his dedication to the world of film and television never wavered. O'Berry's activism and Tours' espionage allegations are just two of the many fascinating stories that surround this classic television series. The complex web of emotions, motivations, and accusations that swirl around Flipper is a testament to the enduring appeal and intrigue of this iconic show. Luke Halpin, the young actor who played Sandy Ricks in the popular 1964 TV series Flipper, gained fame and recognition for his role. However, after the series ended, Halpin found it challenging to secure significant roles in the industry. This is a common fate for many child actors, as they often struggle to transition into adult roles. 
The TV series Flipper was known for its underwater scenes featuring a bottlenose dolphin. The show's success led to the reuse of its sets for another TV series called Gentle Ben, which aired from 1967 to 1969. This practice of set recycling was common in the entertainment industry, as it allowed producers to save time and money. In Gentle Ben, the sets were modified to create a different environment, but the basic structures and locations remained the same. The reuse of sets was a practical solution for producers, as it allowed them to create a new show without building an entirely new set from scratch. Luke Halpin's career after Flipper may not have been as successful as he had hoped, but his role in this classic TV series remains memorable. The show's impact was such that its sets were repurposed for another popular series, reflecting the enduring appeal of well-designed and executed productions. Flipper, the 1964 TV series, is a classic that has left a significant mark in television history. This show, set in the beautiful underwater world, follows the adventures of a dolphin named Flipper and his human friend, Porter Ricks. The series was filmed in the crystal clear waters of Florida, providing a stunning backdrop for the stories of friendship, bravery, and conservation. Flipper, the intelligent and friendly dolphin, quickly became a beloved character, captivating audiences with his remarkable abilities to communicate and solve problems. Flipper was more than just entertainment. It played a significant role in raising awareness about marine life and the importance of protecting our oceans. The show's impact transcended its era and continues to resonate today, inspiring a new generation of ocean advocates. As we delve into the fascinating world of Flipper, we will explore the show's origins, its impact on popular culture, and the enduring legacy that has made this classic a timeless treasure. So, let's dive in and discover the magic of Flipper together. The casting process for the 1964 TV series Flipper was a mix of careful planning and serendipity. For the title role, the producers wanted a friendly and intelligent dolphin. They found their perfect Flipper in a dolphin named Susie, who was known for her playful and responsive nature. As for the human cast, Luke Halpin, a young and talented actor, was chosen to play the role of Sandy Ricks, a 15-year-old boy who forms a bond with Flipper. Halpin's audition tape showcased his natural ease in front of the camera and his ability to convincingly portray a teenager's fascination with marine life. Ryan Kelly, an experienced actor who had previously appeared in several TV shows and films, was cast as Porter Ricks, Sandy's father, and the park ranger in charge of the Coral Key Marine Park. Kelly's chemistry with Halpin during the audition process was undeniable, and the producers knew they had found the perfect father-son duo. The role of Sandy's younger sister, Kim, was given to Tommy Norton, who had already appeared in several TV shows and commercials. Norton's audition demonstrated his ability to hold his own against more experienced actors, and his youthful energy added to the dynamic of the Ricks family. The final piece of the casting puzzle was Ulla Stromstedt, a Swedish actress who was chosen to play the role of Ulla Norstrand, a marine biologist who becomes involved with Porter Ricks. Strumstedt's audition showcased her natural charm and intelligence, and her chemistry with Kelly was palpable. The casting of Flipper was a testament to the power of chemistry and instinct. The producers were able to assemble a talented and cohesive cast that brought the underwater world of Coral Key Marine Park to life. The director of the 1964 TV series Flipper, James B. Clark, was known for his ability to bring stories to life with a unique and compelling vision. Clark's approach to Flipper was no different as he sought to create a show that was both entertaining and educational for its young audience. One of Clark's key creative influences was the work of animal behaviorist and marine mammalogist Rick O'Berry. O'Berry had worked with dolphins for many years and his expertise was invaluable in helping Clark and the Flipper team accurately portray the intelligence and emotions of these incredible creatures. Clark's directing style was characterized by his attention to detail and his commitment to authenticity. He worked closely with the cast and crew to ensure that every scene was shot with the utmost care and precision. This attention to detail extended to the show's underwater sequences, which were filmed using state-of-the-art equipment and techniques. One of the most notable aspects of Flipper was the close bond between the main character, Sandy Ricks, and the titular dolphin. Clark worked closely with the young actors who played Sandy, as well as with the trainers who worked with Flipper, to ensure that this bond was portrayed as realistically and convincingly as possible. In addition to his work on Flipper, Clark had a long and distinguished career in the film and television industry. He directed numerous films and TV shows, including the classic Disney film Swiss Family Robinson, 
Despite his many accomplishments, however, Clark remained humble and dedicated to his craft until the end of his career. In bringing Flipper to life, Clark created a show that has endured as a beloved classic for generations of viewers. His directorial vision, combined with the talents of the cast and crew, helped to create a show that was both entertaining and educational, and that continues to captivate audiences to this day. The production of the 1964 TV series, Flipper, was a significant endeavor that required careful planning and execution. The team had to create an immersive underwater world, which posed unique challenges. The set design was a crucial aspect. The crew built a large water tank on the Universal Studios lot to film the aquatic scenes. This tank, filled with 400,000 gallons of water, was equipped with a filtration system to maintain clarity. The team also constructed a realistic-looking Florida beach and a lighthouse to provide the perfect backdrop for the story. Filming locations were another consideration. While the majority of the series was shot on the Universal lot, the team ventured to Florida for location shots. These excursions added authenticity to the show, capturing the essence of the Sunshine State. Logistical challenges were abundant. Training dolphins for the camera was no easy task. The production team worked with Rick O'Berry, a renowned dolphin trainer, to teach the dolphins the necessary behaviors. This process required patience, consistency, and a deep understanding of animal behavior. Innovative techniques were employed to enhance the viewing experience. The team used a technique called underwater cinematography to capture the aquatic scenes. This involves submerging cameras in waterproof housings and using special lighting to illuminate the underwater world. The production of Flipper was a complex undertaking requiring a blend of creativity, logistical prowess, and innovative thinking. The result was a captivating series that resonated with audiences, leaving a lasting impact on television history. The creation of the Flipper soundtrack was a collaborative effort between composer Henry Vars and musician Ethel Smith. Vars, known for his work on TV series like My Three Sons and National Velvet, brought a unique blend of orchestral and tropical sounds to the score. Smith, a renowned organist, added a playful touch with her lively performances. The music complements the narrative and emotional tone of Flipper exceptionally well. For instance, the main title theme, More by Bobby Darren, sets a cheerful and adventurous mood. Meanwhile, the underwater scenes feature soothing, rhythmic melodies that mirror the fluid movements of marine life. In an interview, Vars shared his approach to scoring underwater scenes. I wanted to create a sense of tranquility, but also keep it interesting. So, I incorporated the sounds of the sea, like waves and seagulls, into the music. Ethel Smith, in her memoir, wrote about her experience playing the playful and energetic organ solos. It was a delight to be part of such a lively and engaging production. I tried to bring a sense of joy and excitement to my performances, reflecting the spirit of Flipper. The score and soundtrack of Flipper have left an indelible mark on television history. They not only enhance the viewing experience, but also stand as a testament to the power of music and storytelling. One of the most iconic scenes in the 1964 TV series Flipper is when Sandy Ricks, played by Luke Halpin, first meets the dolphin that he will later name Flipper. The scene takes place on a deserted beach where Sandy is exploring and Flipper swims up to him. The direction in this scene is masterful as the camera captures the awe and wonder on Sandy's face as he encounters the dolphin for the first time. Halpin's performance is also noteworthy as he effectively conveys the excitement and curiosity of a young boy meeting a wild animal. The cinematography is stunning with sweeping shots of the ocean and the beach that highlight the natural beauty of the setting. This scene has had a lasting impact on audiences, as it establishes a special bond between Sandy and Flipper that will be the driving force of the series. According to Halpin, that scene where Sandy meets Flipper for the first time, it's a magical moment. It's a moment that really sets the tone for the rest of the series. Another iconic scene in Flipper is when Sandy and Flipper save a group of swimmers from a shark attack. The direction in this scene is fast-paced and thrilling, with the camera capturing the action both above and below water. The performances of Halpin and the other actors are believable and intense as they convey the danger and urgency of the situation. The cinematography is also impressive, with underwater shots that showcase the agility and grace of Flipper as he battles the shark. This scene has had a significant impact on audiences as it highlights the heroism and intelligence of Flipper and reinforces the bond between him and Sandy. According to the show's director, Riku Browning, the shark scene was a real challenge to film, but it was also one of the most exciting scenes to direct. The underwater photography is just stunning, 
and it really showcases the incredible abilities of Flipper. Overall, the iconic scenes in Flipper are marked by strong direction, powerful performances, and impressive cinematography. These scenes have had a lasting impact on audiences, as they showcase the special bond between Sandy and Flipper, and highlight the intelligence and heroism of the dolphin. The 1964 TV series, Flipper, had a significant cultural and social impact, capturing audiences' hearts with its heartwarming story of a boy and his dolphin. The show resonated with viewers, providing an escape from the realities of life and offering a sense of companionship and adventure. Flipper was one of the first TV shows to depict the strong bond between humans and marine life, which sparked interest in marine biology and conservation efforts. The show's positive portrayal of dolphins contributed to the growing awareness of these intelligent creatures and their importance in the ocean ecosystem. Moreover, Flipper tackled relevant social themes, such as the importance of family, friendship, and responsibility. The show's young protagonist, Sandy Ricks, learned valuable lessons about trust, empathy, and the consequences of his actions, which resonated with young audiences. Flipper's influence extended beyond the small screen, leaving a lasting impact on pop culture. The show's iconic theme song and the character of Flipper became instantly recognizable, inspiring merchandise, toys, and even a feature film. The show's success also paved the way for other TV shows and movies featuring animals such as Lassie and Free Willy, further solidifying the bond between humans and their animal counterparts. In conclusion, Flipper's cultural and social impact cannot be overstated. The show's heartwarming story, positive portrayal of marine life, and relevant social themes captured audiences' hearts and minds, leaving a lasting impact on pop culture and contributing to important discussions on marine conservation. Flipper, the 1964 TV series, received positive critical reception and had a strong connection with its audience. The show was praised for its engaging storytelling and the charming performance of its young star, Luke Halpin, who played the role of Sandy Ricks. The series also won over viewers with its underwater photography and the captivating antics of the titular dolphin. Notable television critic Jack Gould of the New York Times commended Flipper, stating, The series has an appealing freshness and simplicity. Luke Halpin is entirely credible as a boy who has made friends with a dolphin. This positive review from a respected source helped establish the show's reputation as a quality family program. The series was also successful in engaging its young audience. Many children were fascinated by the idea of a boy communicating with and training a dolphin. The show inspired a generation of young viewers to learn more about marine life and conservation. Flipper received two Emmy nominations in 1965, one for Outstanding Children's Program and another for Outstanding Achievement in Cinematography for Entertainment Programs. These nominations demonstrated the show's high production values and its impact on the television industry. The accolades bestowed upon Flipper were significant for those involved in the production. For the show's creators, these nominations and positive reviews validated their innovative approach to family programming. For the young actors, like Luke Halpin, these awards provided early recognition and helped launch their careers. In conclusion, the critical reception and awards received by Flipper highlighted the show's appeal to both critics and audiences. Its engaging storytelling, strong performances, and captivating underwater photography resonated with viewers and left a lasting impact on the television industry. During the filming of Flipper, the popular 1964 TV series, several fascinating stories unfolded behind the scenes. The young actor who played Sandy Ricks, Luke Halpin, formed an unbreakable bond with the dolphin named Susie, who played Flipper. Halpin even learned how to hold his breath underwater for extended periods to film underwater scenes with Susie. The show's creator, Ivan Torres, was known for his meticulous attention to detail, especially when it came to depicting marine life accurately. He insisted that the production team consult with real-life marine biologists to ensure the show's authenticity. As a result, the series became not only entertaining, but also educational, teaching viewers about the ocean and its inhabitants. One day, while filming a scene, Susie the Dolphin suddenly jumped into the boat, surprising the cast and crew. It turned out that Susie was pregnant, and she gave birth shortly after. The production team decided to incorporate the newborn calf into the show, and it became a beloved character named Skipper. Despite the challenges of working with animals, the cast and crew of Flipper remained dedicated to creating a high-quality show. They spent countless hours rehearsing and filming to capture the perfect shots, often working in challenging conditions. Their hard work paid off, as Flipper became a hit with audiences, and remains a beloved classic to this day.
Flipper, the 1964 TV series, holds a significant place in film history. As one of the earliest shows to anthropomorphize animals, it opened the door for similar productions. The series followed the adventures of a dolphin named Flipper, and his companion, a young boy named Sandy Ricks. Flipper's impact on future filmmaking is evident in the number of productions that followed its lead. The show inspired a wave of family-friendly animal-centric series and films, such as the 1996 film Flipper and the 2000 series H2 Just Add Water. These productions continued the trend of humanizing animal characters, creating a more personal connection with audiences. The series also inspired a generation of filmmakers and writers. Its unique storytelling approach, blending adventure, environmental awareness, and emotional depth resonated with viewers and influenced future storytellers. For instance, the 2011 film Dolphin Tale drew inspiration from Flipper's themes and storyline. Flipper's legacy extends beyond film and television. It played a crucial role in promoting marine conservation and awareness. The show's positive portrayal of dolphins helped shift public perception, leading to increased efforts to protect these intelligent creatures. In conclusion, Flipper's lasting influence can be seen in the numerous productions it inspired and the marine conservation efforts it sparked. Its unique storytelling and innovative approach to animal characters continue to resonate in the world of film and television. The 1964 TV series Flipper holds a special place in many hearts, captivating audiences with its tale of a bond between a dolphin and a boy. Did you know that Flipper was actually played by five different dolphins? This only adds to the show's charm and the magical experience it provides. We'd love to hear about your personal connections to this iconic series. Perhaps you were inspired to learn more about marine life after watching Flipper, or it sparked a love for cinema that has lasted a lifetime. By sharing your stories, you can enrich our understanding of how this series has resonated with people through the years. We invite you to like, share, and subscribe to join us in exploring more cinematic memories and experiences. Together, we can celebrate the impact Flipper has had on our lives and the world of television. So, don't be shy. Tell us your Flipper tales. What does this series mean?